There will possibly be no more Room Factory games, the Mummy remake finally has a release date, and Nintendo finally explained how the Pokemon Bank works. My name is Faust, and this is Geek News, the geeky news show for all shenanigans that are geeky. The developer of the Room Factory games, Neverland, has shut down their website and declared themselves bankrupt. Apparently, with the way the industry has changed in the past few years, has affected them really badly financially. They've tried to find additional sources of funding, and we know they're working on a Rune Factory 5, but by the looks of things, Rune Factory 5 will never make it to release. It's either going to be a case of this company ceases to exist, or they have to auction themselves off to a larger company. I really do hope the best for them, because Rune Factory is such a fun game series, and honestly, if this game series has to end up in the hands of any company, I want it to be Nintendo. It's super effective! So, we all know that Universal are currently working on a Warcraft movie. Well, they recently moved the release date of that, so it wouldn't have to battle against the Star Wars movie. Which is good, because we really don't need more sci-fi versus fantasy in the world. Well, that wasn't the only movie release date that they moved. They've moved their remake of The Mummy to April 2016, which I think is good because for 2015, it seems really close and I don't think the world has changed enough to justify the release of a remake of The Mummy. But in 2016, I don't know, something about that just seems so much further away than 2015. So I think by then we might be able to justify a re-release of The Mummy. It's super effective! Yep, you have heard it here. Nintendo have finally explained to us how the Pokemon Bank works. Kind of. What we know is that you can store up to 3,000 Pokemon over 100 online-based boxes. And you can transfer Pokemon from X and Y Black and White and their respective sequels. And to all of you that are getting excited about playing Fennekin in Unova, well it looks like any Pokemon that make it into X and Y can't be transferred back to Black and White. So this might cause a lot of issues to people that get really excited and transfer their whole Black and White team over and then that game kind of becomes a little bit redundant. And for all of you that are going, well I heard it was a paid service! Yeah, you're totally right, it is a paid service. But I can justify this five US dollar payment per year when I was more than able to justify the 40 pounds that I spent on Pokemon X. But if you really want to try the service before you buy it, if you download it before January 31st, you'll get 30 days free. Personally, I have heard rumors about optional DLC coming into the game that will add another continent and will allow you to complete the National Pokedex, which I think would be amazing. Obviously, as things stand at the moment, if they don't do this DLC, you will have to get Black and White to complete the National Pokedex, which I think is a little bit rubbish. Regardless, I do want to see what Nintendo and Game Freak does with the new technology that is more than available to them. It's super effective! Okay guys, that is it for today. Make sure to click all the social links down below, and remember to thumbs up this video and subscribe. My name is Faust, and this is Geek News, the geeky news show for all shenanigans that are geeky. Thank you.